Hey guys, it's your girl Makaya. Welcome to my channel if you're new. And if you're not, thank you so much for joining me again today. So as you can tell by the title of this video, this will be a full face using only drugstore products. So I decided to go glam today instead of doing something natural using drugstore products. So I hope you guys like this video. And if you want to see how I got this to look, please keep watching. Okay guys, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. So I didn't do my brows off camera because this is a drugstore look. So I wanted to do the whole look using drugstore products. So the first item that I'm gonna be using to do my brows is the Nika K eyebrow pencil in the shade black brown. Um, and this one is just like, you know, the regular pencil with the spoolie on the end. You can find this at the beauty supply store for like a dollar or something like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows with this. Now to cover up my brows, I'm gonna be taking the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in this shade Medium Dark 36. So you guys know I don't use eyeshadow primer, but I do use concealer to conceal my lids. Um, before I do eyeshadow, so I'm gonna be taking that same concealer from ColourPop and I'm just going to conceal my lids. So to set my lids, I'm gonna be using this NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Translucent. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and set my lids. So for eyeshadow, you guys, I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. I feel like it's considered to be drugstore because you can buy it at Ulta. So this is the only product that I kind of was like, should I use it? Maybe not, but um, you can get it on Ulta.com or go in stores and get it. So I'm gonna use it. So now to cut the crease, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 08.
now i'm gonna go into a champagne shade i want to do a nice champagne shade on the lid Now I'm gonna place a brown shade on the outer corner of the lids just to blend out that harsh line. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my wing liner. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in the shade Black. So good. Now for mascara, I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline Pump It Up Colossal Mascara. I'm just gonna place this on my lashes. So I already primed my face with this LaCroix Day Cream. You can get this from a grocery store. But now I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and I will be using my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation in the shade Nutmeg. Now to cream contour, I'm gonna be using my Makeup Revolution foundation stick in the shade F15. Now for concealer, I'm gonna go back in with that ColourPop concealer in the shade Medium Dark 36. You guys, sorry for that, that's my dog in the background. <laughs> she just went in my room. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my airspun powder ready for when I set my concealer and stuff. Um, but I like to do this before I blend it out so it doesn't crease as much and I can just hurry and set it, so.
to set my contour, I'm gonna be using this, what is this, Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Warm Hazelnut. And it looks like this. Now to bronze my skin, I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. powder. It's a finishing powder in the shade Dark Deep. Um, I'm just gonna be using a little bit of this just to add a little bit more color to my base, okay? So for blush, I'm gonna be mixing two of them. I'm gonna be taking this e.l.f. Contour Blush and Bronzing Powder Duo. And this one is in the shade Turks and Caicos. Looks like this. So I'm gonna be taking both of these shades and I'm gonna mix it with my NYX Double Dare Blush, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with my Evian Facial Spray. It's basically just water. Um, normally the setting spray that I would use is the one by Makeup Revolution or there's another one that I used to use a lot. But I don't have a drugstore one with me right now so I'm gonna use this facial spray. Um, when I'm not really going anywhere for a long time, I don't use setting powder. I only use it when I know I'm gonna be out sweating and stuff, so. You don't have to use setting spray if you're not gonna be out doing the most, but I am gonna use this Evian facial spray today. So now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. I'm using the She Lux Pro Powder Highlighter, and it looks like this. You can get this from the um, Beauty Spot store. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and highlight my nose. So pretty. I'm gonna take my Sigma highlighting taper brush F35. This is the F35 brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and highlight my cheekbones. So for the lower lash line in my waterline, I'm gonna be using the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner, and this one is in the shade Black. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna be taking that orange shade I used in the transition area. And now with a flat brush, I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow and smoke out the lower lash line.
And now I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes. The lashes I'll be wearing are the Coco Lashes and the Sal Venus. Um, these lashes are actually affordable. They're like $7.99 or something like that. So that's why I decided to use these because all of my other lashes are expensive. So just gonna apply these and I'll be right back. So now I'm gonna be taking the lighter shadow that I use on my lids, one of them, and I'm gonna use that as my inner corner highlight. Y'all know how I do with the inner corner highlight. And that is it for the eyes. Now the last thing we have to do are the lips, and then we'll be done. So for the first lip liner, I'm gonna use this Ruby Kisses lip liner in the shade Black Brown. And on the lips, I'm gonna be using the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick and this one's in the shade Push Up. Now for gloss, I'm gonna be taking my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie and my Diamond Glow Lip Gloss by Nika K. And this one is in the shade Beauties. So you guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any comments that you have down below. Also, follow your girl on Instagram because I have been doing um, some Instagram lives lately, some live makeup tutorials. So follow me on Instagram at Makaya Choi, M-A-K-A-Y-A-T-R-O-I-X. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.